Baby, when I tell you Lily is like, she has me gasping, honey. This townhome, this townhouse is bomb. Like, I'm so proud of her. And I love the scripture she began with. She put, do not remember the thing. Do, it's a scripture in Isaiah 43, 18, which is a scripture that is very well known. Do not remember the former things. Do not dwell on the past. If you want a good future, guys, if you want a good present, you got to focus on the present. You got to focus on your present and, um, you know, healthily plan for the future, not worry about the future, but basically plan in, in a healthy way for the future. Don't f forget about all that childhood trauma, bad relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like continue therapy, whatever it is you're doing, continue that, but do not dwell on the past because the, the good Lord himself said it's not going to serve you. The fact that what really got me was the fact okay the bottom let's talk about downstairs the this townhouse is basically um it's reminiscent of like my childhood home when i was a little girl we lived in a condominium and it had a, a this townhouse is very is way more bigger and um but the the construction of it like once you get in the door the front door you see the stairs and that's how my house was it was like once you get into the door that there's the stairs and then you see the living room and then we had the dining room and then the kitchen and then upstairs you had the room the rooms or whatever but um that's how townhomes really like condominiums that's how they're like really built but this townhouse is beautiful like it's brand new um she basically literally walked in gave us like a little entrance you know teased um, told us like she's gonna do you know shelves and you know have a place where you get your shoes you know basically outside shoes stay outside inside shoes don't bring that out that outside dirt into the house please like we got to keep the floors clean um and I like and these are the floors that I have in my apartment and it's like I, I like these floors because it's like I prefer like marble but I like these too because you know it's better than carpet because god who wants to vacuum all day but anywho, um, it's easy to just like clean up and, you know, get stuff off the floor, whatever. But um, basically, like just the downstairs is a lot going on. You know, you have the entrance and then you got the beautiful stairs. She got high ceilings. It's like I'm walking around and I'm, I'm I said I'm walking around. I'm basically looking around and I'm looking at like her living room space. I think the living room space is perfect. The size is very, very um, cute. She only got two kids. The dining room area. That area is really cute. And then it's like there's an island. So it's like the island is basically, you know, I got an island. So there's an island that, you know, you basically place chairs there. So if the kids want to, you know, eat on the island or if they want to go to the little small glass table, she said she's going to buy um, for the living room, which is the type of living room I would want. Like I like the round glass look. That's where they would sit, like just, you know, by the kitchen. And it's perfect because it's like that's where the eating and cooking happens. And then you got the living room in the back. Then um, she went ahead and opened up the storage rooms like, you know, there's storage sp space cabinets. You know, she was looking at cabinets, thinking about like, it's just going to be a spice cabinet or a spice rack, whatever. Then she just like swerved to like, it's like the town home. When you look at it, it looks like narrow, but it's so much space. Like, cause she's twisting and turning and I'm like, oh, that's another storage room. That's another, she starts to go to the back and she basically shows us the washing machine. It's very important to have a washing machine in the house. Like I think it's, or at least if you live in an apartment or wherever you are, a nearby washing machine in the building or in your house is so good and convenient. So she got a washing machine in the house. Um, and then she just opened up a door and I saw a big ass garage. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. The garage is huge. So I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I said, like, oh, it's giving very much like MTV Cribs. Please come and film this. Like it just like, voila, opened up. And I'm like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's a big garage because it's a townhome and it's like, for it to have its own garage and it's so big and it's like it looks like when you first walk in a very comfy home but it's a big ass home it's just that you got to open up these doors and you'll see like it has everything and the garage was what got me i'm like well damn and then after that now she's in the bathroom area there's a downstairs bathroom and it's like we ain't even get upstairs yet so i'm gonna catch y'all later in a few 
I love it, guys. Oh my god. She went upstairs and she showed the big a big spacious um area where she said she's gonna make her YouTube studio. Um I always said and she said she wanna do like a she always wanted an in-house salon and she said she's gonna have a vanity and I'm like that's exactly how like you know when I um get older, like not older but like when I get the when I like hustle more and you know maybe when I get married or whatever the case may be, you know, every my dream would be to have a home that has like an in house salon where I don't have to go and to anybody's chair and sit there for hours and do my hair. And I also want an in home movie theater. I also said I wanted a gym as well. A gym, a movie theater and uh, a salon because those are the three most important things that people like to do watch movies do their hair and of course um work out so she has basically a space where she can you know have a office space you know computer vanity and she can do like youtube studio um and also have a little salon area as well like you know to just do her hair and to just do things you know because she does wigs and she does uh sponsorships for that and she does her hair so that space right there that big ass space is perfect and i love it like it's given very much mansion to be honest like this is a big ass townhouse this is a beautiful and the way that it's constructed is very beautiful because you can have a townhouse and it be constructed all wrong. But this townhouse is very well constructed, very beautiful, um, very, very aesthetically pleasing. So um, it's like I'm excited, like I'm so happy. I'm ready to see the bedrooms, you know, and the fact that her bedroom is downstairs is perfect because as a parent, you know, as a grown woman, or if you have, like, if you have kids or whatever, like, when if you and your husband or your boo, y'all doing whatever, you don't want your kids to hear that. So, you way downstairs, and they all the way upstairs. So, therefore, not, you don't have to, like, ooh, let's be quiet. You know, like, you all the way downstairs, they're all the way upstairs. Ain't no, you know, you have way more room to act a fool with your boo. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just see what these rooms looking like. I just know it's gonna be a movie. I'm already feeling, like, real cinematic looking at this. So, Lily is like, yeah, she's that girl, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Sis is like a boss. Lily's the definition of a boss. A B-O-S-S. -S, a boss. Boss boosh. Okay. So, yeah, she showed Bryce's room. Bryce's room is perfect for him. He's a little boy. It's the perfect size for him. Um, Bryce, I don't know how old he is. He looks like eight. So, that room is perfect. Mama's room is bigger. That's perf That's fair because Mama is the oldest. So, she should get the bigger room. They they got their bathroom. Um, and, you know, she basically ended off the video with such a beautiful message um what she's quoting the scripture she's quoting guys is the um it's this right here isaiah 43 18 do not do not remember the former things and do not dwell on the past look i am doing something new even now it is springing up do you not recognize it I will make a way through the wilderness and rivers through the desert. So basically what Jehovah is saying is, is that he's doing something instead of like, remember, first of all, do not remember the former things and do not dwell on the past because why? Look, I am doing something new. You know, he's doing something new for you. Even now it is springing up. Do you not recognize it? So even if he's doing it and you haven't seen the full result, don't you recognize or perceive the blessings and the new life and the new things that he has in store for you? I will make a way through the wilderness and rivers through the desert. So how, no matter how impossible it may seem, this goal or whatever the plan is that God has for you, the will of God, like she said, is for you to elevate and for you to be great. So it's like if you cannot perceive that, or it, you're in, you're not in a good place. If you can perceive your potential and perceive what exactly God's will is for you and what it is that he wants you to do when, when it comes to your ministry, like she said, when it comes to your life, your career, like him not wanting to bless you just in one way, but in all aspects, if you recognize it and you can see it, even though he's doing it and it's not fully there yet, that's why it says even now it is springing up. It's springing up. It's not fully there yet, but you can recognize it. That's a good thing. And even though it may be difficult, 
And even though it may be impossible to some, he's saying, I will make a way through the wilderness because in the wilderness, you'll get lost. Right. He says, I'll make a way and rivers through the desert. The desert is dry no water right well he said i'm gonna create a river so basically he's telling you that he basically wants you to forget the past traumas relationships things that don't serve you so he can do something new for you so that he can open up major doors for you and allow yourself to win and don't self-sabotage and know that you're worth it so i'm happy that lily basically gave that message because she inspired me because i had to remember when she quoted those scriptures i went to the app and i was like wow yeah this is a big message and her ending was powerful so shout out to lily for boston up she got this crib all on her own um and the next thing she's gonna do i know is to get her car because she's getting a new car so it's like she's getting rid of all of that you know negativity and all of that old stank baggage like just stank trash she got rid of all of it and she's like almost there got the home got the washing machine got you know now she's gonna get rid of the car i know she's looking for a new car like new life basically it's a new life for her and i'm so happy that she allowed herself to elevate and she did not stay comfortable and keep after or keep being with or dealing with whatever did not serve her it's like people you gotta leave them behind and let them the toxic people go whether it's a friend or a lover or a job you gotta go and do not remember the former things and do not dwell on the past, but allow God to do something new, embrace something new. And that's what I plan to do. And that's how I plan to live. So thanks, Lily, for inspiring me. And I love this video. It can, I cannot wait for the home decor and all of that. So I'm so proud of her. And I definitely am going to be watching all the reaction videos that's doing reactions to her, like Big Key TV. And um, I'm proud of Shorty. Like, Lily, Lily's just bossed up. And for her to come from where she come from, a criminal record, it's like she comes from a lot. And people like to put, play statistics and stigmas on people. And no matter what you what you come from, your environment or you, your beginnings is, does, not defi does not define you. It's all about life being a journey and where you end up. What is your ending? How are you going to die? Like, successful you know how you react to your circumstances and what you become is what matters not your past or what you come from what you couldn't control like thing or mistakes you've made it's about progressing and elevating that's what defines you being able to change your circumstances and become this bossed up person that she is today and if she can do it anybody can do it so i'm inspired and i'm so happy for her and her children and it's like out with the old and with the bomb bomb diggity new like it's giving rich boosh vibes period so i'm trying not to say period because i don't fool with the city girls like that but anywho yeah like i really really love it and i think that she did it she did an amazing job this is a very great spot beautiful amazing she did a good job